everybody, it's Alyssa Zwalonik from SongOfMyHeartStampers.com back with more real life paper crafting tips and tricks for you. I have the coolest card fold to show you today. It's called a drapery fold and it's just got a gorgeous, um, elegant looking drape across the card front. It gives it so much texture and dimension. You're just going to love it. And it's super easy to do. So let's learn how to make that today, shall we? You're going to start with a sheet of 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to reassemble mine here so you can get the idea. So it's a sheet of 12 by 12 paper and you're cutting off half an inch from one side and that is going to make it be 11 and a half inches long. So the pieces you need are 4 inches by 11 and a half inches and so you can get three cards worth out of one sheet of 12 by 12. For each individual card, you just need one piece of four by eleven and a half. Then we're going to score that at. I'm going to use the um, wider end of my stylus so that it doesn't tend to pierce right through the paper instead of score. There's a tip for you. I'm going to score it at three, four, six, seven, and nine and ten. So three and four, six and seven. 9 and 10. That's all the scoring we have to do. So I'm going to get rid of my simply scored. Then holding it so that the the part that is 3 inches here where the score started at 3, you're going to start the cut right at that 3 inch score and just use a nice pair of scissors to angle your cut across and up to the top. You want to leave at least about an inch here, maybe even an inch and a half. Okay, so we just trimmed off this spot. So once again, this is our three inch score starting here and we're angling it this direction. And then all we're gonna do is fold on those scores back and forth. This is perfect for showcasing um, double-sided papers because you'll get to see both sides on the same card. Back and forth, back and forth, just like that. So that is all there is to it for the drapery fold. Isn't that pretty? And the measurements that I gave you will allow it to fit just perfectly on a regular A2 card size. So there's not any waste at all there. I like to center mine on the white and then tie a ribbon around it right here. And then here's another one that I tried with the new um, celebration papers. Love those. And this time I put a little piece of cardstock back there in a in the color that goes with my pattern so that it really shows the drapery fold. And then here's another one that I made for my team meeting using um, pink pirouette double sided papers and the new rose dye too. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you'll turn off the computer and go get in the craft room.